Hello everyone, this is your friend SG and this is the second part of our movie app using React Native. So we are creating this movie app and in the first part we have created this header. And in this video we are going to create this carousel where we get all the images and the details of all the movies. So without any further ado, let's begin the video. last part I explained all of you how you can create your API key using TMDB. So this is my API key. Now I'm going to copy this API key and I'm going to create another file inside the SRC called config.js. So it will be config.js and it will contain all the configuration related variables. So here I'm going to create a variable for API key. Export constant API key and I'll pass paste my API key here. Similar to this Below this API key, I have a base URL. So this is explaining me how I can make a request. Okay. So the part, this part, HTTPS APIs dot the movie DB dot org slash three. This is the base URL of our each and every API call. So I'm going to copy this part from here and I'm going to create another variable export constant base URL. So it will be base URL and I'm going to paste the base URL part here. So these two are the configuration variables that I'm going to need in further in the video. Now, what we need to do, we need to also install a package called React Native Image Slider Box. React Native Image Slider Box. So this package provides me the functionality of the carousals that I'm going to need. So I'm going to simply install this package in my project. So I'll copy this command from here and I'm going to paste it here. So the dependency is installed. Now we need to start our project. So for that we are going to run the command npx react native start to run the metro server and in another terminal I'm going to run the command npx react native run android to build the project. Okay, so the project is built. Now what we need to do, we need to make some API calls. So here I'm going to create a folder called components. And inside this I'm going to create a file called discovermovies.js. And this will be a react native functional component and discover movies. Okay, so let's for now simply write discover movies. this component I'm going to call this from the home.js file instead of this text now I'm going to call the function discover movies discover movies this function I'm going to call okay <clears throat> so here we can see that discover movies is getting printed so now let's move forward so now we need to make the API call so for that we are going to go to use effect and we are going to import use effect now so let's use that okay so now what we need to do so to which particular url we need to make the api call so for that let's search for the movie db and we got the api so this is the first url developers.themoviedb.org this is the documentation so here we need to search for discover movies discover movies so so this is the particular URL to which we need to make the request and we have to make a request of type get. Okay. So let's do one more thing. Let's create a folder called services. Let's see our services and inside that let's move up, make a file called api.js. Now inside this, we are going to make a function for the uh, API calls. So let's export that function and name it as get. It will receive a URL. Let's make it one, let's a second. So it will receive URL and as we are making the API call, so it will be asynchronous. Okay, so we got the URL. Now from this URL, this will be the route to which we need to make the API call. Now we have to make our API URL. So for that, we need to use the base URL. So we'll use base URL. 
after let's import this as well so import base underscore url from the config file okay now after base url we need to pass our url so our url and after that question mark api underscore key and we will pass our api key here api key so this is the url complete url to which we need to make the api call so now let's create a variable called response and make a fetch request to that so fetch request we will need to make to api url and the method will be of type get yep. so now once we get the result we need to uh, return it so return the response as soon as we get that now let's just save it okay so this will make the api call to this particular route and will return the response to us now what we can do here we can make that api call so let's create a function get movies and it will give us the movies okay it will be an asynchronous function and inside this we can get a variable called response and make the api call to get what was the url to which we need to make the request so it was slash discover slash movie okay so let's paste that url here and for now simply console log the response that we are getting okay one additional thing that we need to do we have to pass an empty array here otherwise continuous requests will be fired also we need to call this function get movies this function is not getting called yet okay so now we are displaying the result in the console let's see okay so we got the entire result out here okay what's the issue oh got it so here we haven't converted this response to json so what we need to do response will be we have to convert this to json json data we need to convert this so it gave us some warning what's the warning response is read only ah it's constant so instead of constant let's make it where or let yeah okay so now here we got the entire result displayed so in this result we are getting a lot of things so the things that we need to focus on are page and the results so basically we need to focus on results here so we need to store this result so for that let's import use state as well and we'll create a variable so const variable will be movies comma set movies and use state and we'll pass an empty array as the initial value now once we get the response we are going to set that set movies and what would we need to set response dot results response dot results so instead of yep now we got it here now another thing that we need to work with is this particular package so here it's saying that we can display carousals like this so how we are going to use that we need to import this packet this slider block side slider box and we can use this image we have to pass these images current image pressed is for the on click type feature and it is the current image emitter okay so we don't need the emitter part we only need the current image press and the images part so let's import this from here so import slider box from react native image slider box okay for now let's just simply import it now here one thing that we need to keep in mind is this images so this is an array of all the image urls these are the complete urls okay but if we take a look at the data there url of the images that we are getting they are not complete url see so this is the first object first particular so in here we have this backdrop path so this is the path so this is only the particular route to which we need to make the request so in order to get the complete response complete path we need to add another variable to config so the url that we need to pass will be will, sorry not pass add will be uh, let's say image poster image image poster url it will be https and image dot tmdb dot org slash t slash p slash original so this original represents the original dimensions of the image okay so we can use this uh, image poster url as a base url now okay so from here we got the response 
now we have to make another variable to store all the images only so let's make it images and set images so you state it will also be an empty array initially now what we can do once we get the response we need to set the images as well so for setting the images we are going to use this backdrop underscore path variable so let's do one thing response uh, dot uh, results dot map we are going to map on this particular result okay so we will get the image uh, let's not let's make it data so what we need to do we simply return data dot backdrop underscore path okay but this backdrop underscore path should be combined with the with the, the base value that we just made so let's simply uh, no sorry my bad so let's simply make it a literal string now here we need to pass the back base image image base url that we just created image poster url sorry okay so now what it will do it will use this as the base url then it will add the backdrop path of that particular object and it will be stored in a let's say some variable called images and now this images variable will be an array containing the url of all the images okay so next thing what we need to do so here we are getting 20 responses okay we don't need 20 responses out here total of 500 pages and total results is this much so in one single page we get 20 response now we don't need 20 responses to be displayed we only need 10 so what we can do we can filter out these images how we can do that we are simply going to run a for loop so let's run a for loop it i will be from 0 to i less than 10 and plus plus i oh my bad now what we need to do uh, we are mapping over this particular image and we only need to keep the first 10 indexes okay so let's create a variable let's say back images it will be initially an oh no not initially an empty array uh, what we can do we can create this variable outside of this for loop so here we are going to create a variable okay now this back images what we are going to do we are going to use the spread operator here okay back instead of constant let's make it like because we are modifying this simply so yeah back images and now we need to pass this particular index so images at this particular ith index okay so what it will do it will firstly store url of 20 images in this images variable now we are going to the use only first 10 images so using the first 10 images what we are going to do we have created this empty array back images and we are pass running a for loop and storing only first 10 images inside that okay so this could be a complicated part so understand it very carefully and implement as well very carefully this okay so after that we will get 10 image urls in the back images so simply we can do set images and is it set image or images uh, it's only set image so let's add else as well set images and so it will be set images and here i'm going to add back images okay so inside after this use effect we are going to get all the data inside this movies and the images inside this images component okay so now comes the part of this particular component so let's copy this part slider box okay and what we can do is instead of this discover movies we are going to add the slider box here and apart instead of movie uh, images let's simply keep it images and uh, we don't, don't need this for this now okay let's see what it gives us so these are the images 20 different posters okay so these are all the image posters now another thing what we can do is there is this active dot color so where is it where is it dot style dot color property okay so we are going to use that so inside this images only we are going to use dot color so dot dot color so we are going to use constants we created a secondary variable as well if you remember in the last video so constants dot let's import this first it's not constants no it's constants so i'm going to import constants const a n t s from constants okay and now after this what we can do is constants dot 
secondary color this will be the active dot uh, sorry it will be the dot color of the active dot c so this one was the active we got yellow okay so this is the complete carousal we made the carousal here we changed the color we also saw how we can make the api calls using the we created this get method using fetch we made the api call we converted it to json and got the data so we are storing the response that we get we are storing it inside the movies object movies array now after that it gives us 20 responses we don't need 20 so we are only filtering the first 10 and storing them in the images okay so this is it for this video go complete tail here this was a bit confusing part clear reducing the number of images to 10 so do that part carefully and implement it until the next video comes so that complete it and we'll continue further from here only okay so if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comments or you can contact me on my telegram or my instagram as well and if you need the source code you'll find the github repo link in the description okay so this is it for this video thank you tata bye bye Thank you.